Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. You hear that echo as I talk? That is because we're standing in a bare bones tiny house. Behind me is our beautiful tiny house that we built. If you have not seen the first video, it is a start to finish build of this thing being made from the bottom all the way up. Definitely go check that out. I highly recommend it. The build was so much fun. It might've taken a really long time, but it's definitely worth the watch. Now we're gonna dedicate this episode to making this bare bones tiny house into a livable space. So there's, there's a lot of work to be done, obviously, because there's nothing inside of it except for this package we have to open and a propane heater. So yeah, I don't even know where to start. We're gonna close this door because it is absolutely freezing and it's gonna start pouring rain soon. So obviously, you know, we picked the perfect day for this. Um, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. The most expensive camping product I think I've ever bought is right here. It's a bunk bed meant for kids, but it's gonna work for me, I think. I guess this is our starting point of putting something in this tiny house is a bed. But this isn't just any ordinary bed. You guys are going to see exactly why I decided to go with this bed bunk in a minute because it's kind of the coolest thing I've ever seen. But let's see if it's actually functional. This, we're actually going to read directions today, so. New year, new me, starting off 2023 the right way. Oh, this is nice. It's actually really nice. I like this. If you guys are curious why I want a bunk bed in here, well, two, it can sleep two people now, but another thing is this isn't only a bunk bed or a single cot. So these things can be a bunk bed or this could be a cot by itself or that could be a cot by itself. So if someone didn't want to sleep on, you know, uh, you know, underneath or on top, whatever, it doesn't like bunk beds. They can just be two separate cots by themselves, and it does something even cooler than bunk beds. Just one sec, give me like 10 hours to figure out how to do it, but this, this also does something else. It's a couch. It went to a bunk bed, to two cots, to a single, to a couch. To a couch. The convenient thing about this is there's just so many different ways I could go about it. The setup is just, it's easy to work with and I really like it. And I think this is the most ideal sleeping situation. I did so much research and this just works. Uh, it's, it's a kid's cot, but I fit into it, so. I'm gonna put a mattress on here as well. So there's gonna be a mattress and everything. It's gonna look so nice. Step one's complete somehow. I don't know if I wanna keep it as a couch right now or not, but 
yeah, this is just like a really, really neat thing to have in here. Endless options. That was actually one of the number one things I wanted in this tiny house. And it's kind of weird that it's actually finally up. <laughs> I bought that thing two years ago when I came up with the idea of doing this, but I couldn't really swing it financially to do it. And here we are kind of crazy right now. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put a table. So we already have this desk in here, which is going to be used for a lot of stuff. But then I purchased this today and you pop it open like this. It'll sit up on the wall like this. And then you press this button right here and it releases. So it's a table holder. You can uh, put a table and have it flat against the wall so it's not taking up space. And then you push this button again and then it pops up and then it stays locked into place and is leveled or squared and um yeah then you get a table that's out of the way it's pretty neat my current issues i just don't know where i want to put it like yes this is a cool spot to do it but preferably i'd want it right there i need to shorten the bolt in order for this table to sit flat on the floor so ignore that i'm gonna have to sit and think because <laughs> the issue is obviously there's not like a massive amount of space to decide where you want to put things. So you gotta be careful. I'm in Lila's car, shout out Lila. I don't feel like disconnecting the trailer from my truck. <laughs> so we're, just, we're just gonna steal Lila's car for now. Um, and let's go to, I think, no, let's go to Lowe's, Home Depot. One of those two, I don't know. We're gonna turn off this light. <laughs> Look at this. It came out so incredible. The lighting's definitely terrible, but I put in some fairy lights and I love it. Another thing I wanna get done today, it is definitely really late. My mom's telling me I should call it and not overdo it. So I'm gonna listen to my mom. So I wanna put curtains in. I wanna see if I can manage to put curtains in right now. If not, that's okay, but I'm gonna to try to see if I can do that. That's the last thing I would like to do. And then uh, we shall continue tomorrow. I was gonna use these hooks right here to like put it like that, but I actually threaded like the wire in the screw area so the more i tighten it oh it broke in this video i'll be showing you the method that i use to build overhead cupboards for your own van conversions hi everyone today we're gonna It's another cold one folks, but today is a big day because I'm going to attempt to build my first ever cabinet. Never done that in my life, so yeah, this should be interesting. There's no storage in here as of right now, which is a huge issue because I got a lot of stuff, man. Messy hair, don't care. I'm definitely time lapsing this disaster. Thank you. 
I did a terrible job, uh, broke a lot of pieces of wood, had a couple of mental breakdowns. Uh, the shelf is not going great. So we're gonna hold off on that for a second. I just called Noelle and told her I was having um, a rough time. So Noelle's on her way right now. She'll be here in like two hours. <laughs> And we're gonna move on to another project. Um, well, same, con like I'm the tiny house, but I need help with the shelf. I am terrible at this. So we're gonna wait on that um, and also clean up all the sawdust. I had to put on a different shirt because of the sawdust everywhere. So let's move on to the next thing, which is setting up the table. Hopefully this goes better. Please pray, please pray for me. Wow, that's pretty neat. I bought this mattress like a month ago for this tiny house. Oh, yes. This is incredible. All right, we're gonna use this heater to the best of our ability to kind of heat this up and get it ready to put on because I want this sticker behind the door. This is the perfect little heater. Don't catch it on fire. I went on to Facebook Marketplace and actually found like a vintage blanket and it just looked really cool and it was only 15 bucks. I legitimately picked this up two weeks ago, so I've been waiting for this moment. Let's go put it on. Hopefully it fits the bed. We'll see. So the guy who was selling it didn't really know what it was, but I believe it's just a sleeping bag liner. I wish I could tuck this, but I can't. I feel so lucky and blessed right now. It's crazy. It's crazy. Hi. Do you think you can go under here? Come here. Come here. You like that? You like that? Let me do that. Is this your little doggy bed? That is going to be so cool. You can sleep right there. And then I sleep right here. I obviously <laughs> don't think Sky realizes it, but this is the little build tiny house that she was watching the past like month or two, however long this thing took to build. I can't even remember, but Sky was there pretty much every single time I went and worked on the house. So it's kind of funny. I don't think she uh, is putting two and two together, but. Welcome. Holy crap. Isn't that sick? <laughs> What? <laughs> Stop it right now. Can I go in? Yeah, go in. Can I go in? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> it's beautiful. I know. Oh my god. Shut up, dude. Shut up right now. Isn't this sick? <laughs> dude, uh, what? So this is like that bunk bed thing I told you about. Mm -hmm. And that okay. turns into like a couch. Okay, so. This is perfect. It's literally my height, just a little, like a little room. Isn't this? Give me a pillow. I know, I don't have pillows in here yet, sorry. This is perfect. These are at the dollar store. I'm gonna put them under the bunk bed, like on the floor. Four, we got four of them. Uh, some garbage bags. Hand wipes, sandwich bags a lighter, aluminum foil, and then a dollar plate at Walmart. We got three of the dollar plates. We got two bowls, a buck each. We went a little bit bougie and I got this thing right here. This is a cup that I actually have. I have this exact cup in my truck and it's just like a nice camping mug. Five, five bucks. All right, it goes right back on. 
There we go. Look, see? It's fine. Totally fine. One of the most important parts, this thing was on sale for 20 bucks. 20 smackaroonies right here. Look how beautiful. I'm going to talk about my issue right now. Basically, this is going to be our pump. We are indeed going to have a sink in here. Or not like a sink, but at least water. A water pump. So, I have to drill a hole in this. Which is kind of an issue. Because what if I want to sell it? <laughs> so, I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow to do that. And think critically about if I should be keeping this thing or not because it's not looking like it's my best bet, you know? And I want a toilet in here, so I bought a toilet. It was either green or black, so I got green. But yeah, we have a toilet now. So I can throw this in here for when I change it out. I never thought in my lifetime I would be recording a video of me sitting on the toilet, but here we are, so. I literally don't know what to do. <laughs> I go inside for two seconds and the snow is just coming down like crazy. Kind of beautiful. Tiny house, first snow. Here's the deal. Today is a day that I'm dreading, but also not dreading because I'm super excited. But basically today we got to put this bad boy in. The goal is to kind of have it right there, right there. So. Come along with as we install that. I'm gonna use this styrofoam as kind of like a, a stencil, I guess, if you will. I probably should have tested this beforehand, but uh, let's see if it works. I'm just gonna take a water bottle just to test it. Put the other end of the hose in there. Ha <laughs> No way. You guys just might have witnessed the most proud I've ever been myself. <laughs> We're gonna have a working sink in the tiny house. I'm thinking of putting something here for like an actual like sink, but honestly, I don't think it's a necessity, but you guys let me know down in the comments below um, if you guys think I should do it, and if you do, obviously I will, but I honestly think this is just perfect. This is like all you need. You don't really need the actual bowl of a sink, and it looks way more sleek. I love this mattress. I do, it's awesome, but it does hang off quite a bit. It's a little bit too big, and I do have another spot to put that, not in the study house, but for another thing that I'm doing. And I already had this foam mattress right here from Lila and I's place, because uh, we ended up getting a really cheap mattress, and it sucked, so then we got this foam piece, and it didn't really help, the mattress was just terrible. So I just have this foam mattress that it has nowhere to go and now it does so we'll see how this fits hopefully it fits good we'll find out 
Nice. All right, I like that. Is it as comfortable as the other mattress? No. Is it way more practical? Yes. Way more practical. Hey, food delivery. delivery. Oh, thank you. That looks massive. I think this light's gonna die any second now, and when it does, I'll just turn on. Yep, yep, there she goes, she's off. All right, let's turn the light on the big camera on. There we go, okay, so. This is the last day. I think I think we've done all that we can and it's going to take time to actually camp inside of this thing to know what else we need, right? I have everything that I, I know I need. I have that toilet, which is right here. I have everything to cook right here. I have a sink, which we're not putting together the sink um, because there's really no reason for it right now. All the pipes are just going to freeze because, or well, the one single pipe will freeze due to the fact that it's winter. Um, so there's really no point on, you know, putting together the other end of the wire, but I can still show you guys that this is the water jug. It actually opens up a lot more than what it is right now. Like this expands and it pops up and whatnot. And it's actually going to fit perfectly right behind here. You won't even know. You won't even know. It's just going to hide right underneath there. Anyway, so that's where the water jug is going to go. Uh, obviously, we got the propane heater set up for now. I think that's the best thing to do. But we have the skylight open completely. It's actually a fan, but it's completely open, obviously, for CO2 reasons. Um, I need to buy an extra CO2 sensor to put in here because I have one in my truck camper. But we'll also just be extra, extra safe. Can't be too safe. We'll open up this window right here. I think that's my favorite part is these windows are so nice. But anyways... The table is done. This thing still collapsed down. It used to be there, but it does look a lot better right here. Uh, we got all the kitchen stuff right here. Open this up, pots, pans, you know, actually the pond pans aren't in here yet, but we got the plates, bowls, cups, strainer, spatula, extra propane thing right here and wipes and all that good stuff. This thing's also magnetic from right here to right here so when we're on the road it shouldn't theoretically just fly on open which is really nice so these are magnetic and they stay closed this is where the toilet is gonna hide um i'm obviously not gonna be able to use a toilet over here i'm gonna have to pull it out but it fits nicely right there and then of course we got the sink which is unbelievable i might put a bowl right here to make it like a real sink you guys let me know but for some reason i, I see it in a lot of campers where there's no actual sink just the faucet and if you really think about it i don't feel like i really need a bowl but we'll see you guys let me know we got the guggen sticker we got a lock it locks right there and it locks down there there's three different ways to lock it all the keys are hanging up right here on our beautiful coat hanger um and then if you notice we got some fairy lights which i believe the remotes are right here it's not dark out so it's not gonna look as cool but that's one, and then point it right there, and that's two. We got fairy lights going on in here. It looks really cool when the, like, you know, it's actually dark out, but anyways. We got storage bins right here, one, two, three, four, and then actually a couple more all the way back in there. This is something I actually worked very hard on. I sat in the kitchen for so long and did this. We got crushed red pepper, oregano, paprika, we got some sugar, adobo, onion powder, chili powder, bagel seasoning, Old Bay. I mean, there's just so many seasonings and yeah, I thought this would be perfect for the tiny house. I just don't know where to put it. I'm thinking I need to get like some sort of spice rack truthfully, but yeah. And then I have these two things. They're just mason jars that come off, but it's uh, there's the cap is actually screwed in right there. So I can store like pasta in here or any dry cooking goods. I'm actually gonna turn that off. And then ta-da, this is the sleeping area. I ended up finding a navy blue blanket to kind of match the top one because uh, that's a vintage 
sleeping pad blanket thing cover and um yeah i could not find another one to match it on the bottom obviously we got the guggen flag right here this isn't like actually hung up right now i can just move it wherever i don't know where i want to hang this i think it's fairly safe to say that this bunk bed was pretty perfect for this setup it's just so convenient it's unreal and it takes um pretty much no room really like most beds will take up a lot of room, but it doesn't take up that much room. It's mostly height and I have plenty of storage underneath and someone else can sleep in here at the same time. So two people can easily sleep in this thing as long as you're not six feet tall because lengthwise it's not, you know, crazy long. I need to camp in this setup a little bit more and then just kind of see what I need. Like I'm going to be camping and be like, oh, this, I don't have a table right here for when I'm sitting in bed. I hate that. Okay, let's get like some sort of table or build one. I want a, a mug holder right here. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to want to add some things, but I think I need to camp in it a little bit more. Well, I haven't camped in it actually at all. So we need to camp in it to figure it out. And yes, the elephant in the room. I do not have insulation on the walls or the ceiling. The floor is insulated. I'm definitely going to insulate the roof um, or sorry, the ceiling, but budget wise i don't have enough money to make that work right now trust me i want this thing as warm and beautiful as possible but we just don't have the budget right now which really stinks but we'll when it comes i'm telling you we will do things right but for now this is beautiful one last thing to show you guys this was a rope that i got at the dollar store and this is what's uh holding up the curtains both actually um, how the heck did this thing get so dirty? I haven't even used it. I can't wait to hear from you guys. It's gonna be amazing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. It has been a blast, a very, very expensive one, so everything's gonna be on hold for a little bit. Um, but so many more ideas on what to do with this place. It's kind of crazy. Don't think I'm done because we're gonna be adding so much, but at least we got the necessities in here. We got a bathroom, a kitchen and a place to sleep, which is really what I cared about because I want to be able to camp in this thing as soon as possible, obviously, because uh, I want to use this thing real bad. So hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Uh, comments, suggestion, ideas. I just, I literally can't wait to hear from you guys. I know that you guys are going to come up with so many cool things that I'm not even thinking of. And that's the beauty of making a video like this and posting it is I listen and I read every single comment. So super stoked to see what you guys have to say, but I'm going to end off the video here. Sorry for the chaotic episode of everything going in and out. And yeah, it took me a couple of days, like a week to do this. Truthfully, there's just so many other things going on too. So, um, but yeah, thanks for the patience. I appreciate it. I love you guys and I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.